All right, so this video is about matching a verbal description to a position versus time graph. And the best way to approach this is to first remember the key things about a position versus time graph. And that is, first, if you have a positive slope, that represents an object moving to the right, or in the positive direction, if you will, which is usually considered to the right. Then a negative slope will be the opposite. That will be an object moving to the left or down or whatever you consider the negative direction. Finally, the magnitude of the slope represents the speed of the object. So the steeper the line, the faster it's going, the more shallow, the slower it's going. So then before you even look at the matching, just look at the graphs themselves and write down the key facts of them. So for example, graph A is going in an upward direction, so that is a positive slope, so this is moving right. So I'm just going to write down in each one if it's moving right or left. Graph B is moving right because it's a positive slope. Graph C is moving right. Graph D is moving right, although there is one area here where the slope is zero and it is in fact stopped. So I can make a note of that. Graph E has a negative slope, it's going downward, so we can say that is moving left because it is trending downward. Graph F, we have one part that's moving left, and we have another part that's moving right. Graph G is moving left the entire time. Graph H is also moving left the entire time. And again, the only way I'm telling that is by if it's a positive or negative slope. Then I can also make notes on what is happening to the speed at various points on the graph. So on this graph A, right here it's really steep, so that is where it's moving fast. Later on, it's flatter, so that is moving slow. And I'm just using the term slow or fast. It's all relative. We don't know exactly how fast that's going, but we can at least make a note. Graph B, the slope never changes, so that is a constant speed. Graph C at the beginning is slow, and then later on is fast because it's steep. Graph D, these are both areas of constant speed. Graph E, this is also constant because it doesn't change. Graph F, all the speeds are constant because they're straight lines at each point. Graph G, it starts off pretty steep, so that's fast, and then it flattens out, so that's slow. Whereas graph H starts off slow and then gets steeper, so it's fast. So if you take all these notes on each graph ahead of time, then the matching part itself is really just a matter of comparing your notes to the thing. There's, you've done all the real work. So if we look, graph uh, Mitch runs right starting at high speed and finishing at low speed. So you're going to look at your graphs for one that is to the right, that starts fast and goes to slow. And that right off the bat, that's going to be A, because it starts fast, goes to slow, and it's going to the right the entire time. Colin runs right from low to high speed. So again, you're looking for one that's right from slow, low to high, and that's going to be graph C. Emily runs right at constant speed. Okay, that's going to have to be graph B. Alice runs left at constant speed. That's going to have to be graph E. Esteban runs left, starting slow and finishing at high speed. And so this is where it helps to have our notes. This is going left, starts slow, finishes fast, graph H. A lot of people confuse graph G and graph H, and it's very easy to do, but if you've taken notes and you can clearly see what's happening, it's, it's harder to do that. All right, Olivia walks left, stops, and walks right. So I thought we had a left and right one somewhere, and here it is, graph F. Denise walks right, constant, stops, and walks right. So okay, that's going to be here, that's graph D. And then the last one, the only one we haven't done, is Amelia running left from high to low speed. That's going to be graph G. So that's really how you do it. If you, if you don't even start the matching part, analyze your graph, ask yourself, what does this graph show me? and then you can try to match it later, and I think you'll have better results. So, until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.